Hey, welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. The reading for today, titled Humbled But Hopeful, was written by Arthur Jackson. At the pastor's invitation at the end of the church service, Latrice made her way to the front. When she was invited to greet the congregation, no one was prepared for the weighty and wonderful words she spoke. She had relocated from Kentucky, where, in December 2021, devastating tornadoes had taken the lives of seven of her family members. I can still smile because God's with me, she said. Though bruised by trial, her testimony was a powerful encouragement for those facing challenges of their own. David's words in Psalm 22, which point to the sufferings of Jesus, are those of a battered man who felt forsaken by God, despised and mocked by others, and surrounded by predators. He felt weak and drained, but he wasn't hopeless. But you, Lord, do not be far from me. You are my strength. Come quickly to help me, he declared in verse 19. Your present challenge, though likely not of the same variety as David's or Latrice's, is just as real. And the words of verse 24 are just as meaningful. He has not despised or scorned the suffering of the afflicted one, but has listened to his cry for help. And when we experience God's help, let's declare his goodness so others can hear of it. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Psalm 22, verses 14 through 24. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart has turned to wax. It has melted within me. My mouth is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. You lay me in the dust of death. Dogs surround me. A pack of villains encircles me. They pierce my hands and my feet. All my bones are on display. People stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes among them and cast lots for my garment. But you, Lord, do not be far from me. You are my strength. Come quickly to help me. Deliver me from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dogs. Rescue me from the mouth of the lions. Save me from the horns of the wild oxen. I will declare your name to my people. In the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, honor him. Revere him, all you descendants of Israel. For he has not despised or scorned the suffering of the afflicted one. He has not hidden his face from him but has listened to his cry for help. Let's pray. O Heavenly Father, we bring our feelings of helplessness to you. Breathe fresh hope into our heart and help us praise your name, even when life is at its darkest. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name that we pray and trust. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name is Wes Ward, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.